Hi guys. Okie dokie. Right, so what I'm going to do is a short video here answering a viewer's question. Yes, I am. And I've been having this conversation with this viewer, Mitchup86, and he's asked a question here. Call, hey, call me stupid. No, I won't call you stupid at all. You're not stupid. The only stupid question is the one you never ask. <laughs> hey, yeah. Um, hey, we've all got to learn, Mitch. Yeah, we have. Um, so after he's edited his uh, photo in Raw Therapy and Photoshop, I don't know how to send it to Lightroom. Um, from Lightroom, I don't see my images saved in cloud from Photoshop. Oh, dear God, cloud. I have nothing to do with the cloud at all. And on Photoshop, when I click on a share button and select Lightroom, I get an error that it couldn't something share to Lightroom photos fail because the size of the document is bigger than 200 meg. Oh, gee whiz. That sounds much like you're getting in a right two and eight. That means a right state of confusion. Yes. Um, so what we're going to do is just a simple walkthrough of sort of Lightroom stroke raw therapy stroke Photoshop and back to Lightroom again, integration, okay? And really to get your photos from raw therapy to Lightroom, um, circumventing Photoshop is really, really simple. So let's get right on with the job at hand. And lovely shot here of a um, sparrowhawk, courtesy of my friend and good supporter, patron, Steve Kaluski, and uh, of his Canon R5. Lovely shot of a sparrow walk. Um, taken, um, recording to the camera uh, clock, 11.17, yeah, um, in the morning. Hmm, yeah. Um, nice lighting, really nice lighting. But here it is in Lightroom, and to me... It looks a little bit on the cool side. I'm not going to go into um, processing this image in Lightroom. Uh, but what I will say is I was having a conversation on the uh, previous video with another one of my patrons uh, from Down Under, Grey Mark, uh, Mark Reg, And he was saying that there's, you know, Lightroom doesn't really make a good job of R5 images. Um, no, it doesn't, not really. Um, just as an aside, this is nothing really to do with the actual video. You can see I've got it set to one of those linear profiles we were talking about, linear camera profiles we were talking about in the previous video. Um, if I go back to settings reset, and uh, we see the image in its infinite glory with all Lightroom's crappy background adjustments on it that supposedly make the image look far more pleasing to the viewer. <laughs> oh, God, it looks bloody awful. But either way, it looks cold. And really and truly, it, it's, it's just not right. And, you know, even if I go and put one of my process version swaps on it, you can see it still looks cold. It actually, to me, it looks a lot better than it did with the uh, linear profile on it. But, well, there you go. Um, but either way, what we want to do is we actually want to process this image in raw therapy. Because if I hop over to raw therapy, uh, you'll notice one thing above all else. See how much warmer the image is. And this is just on a camera standard input profile uh, which is linear by the way yeah but you can see that it is by just <laughs> it's a lot warmer okay now the rights and wrongs of this color variation between um, light say lightroom and raw therapy with the linear camera profiles attached is sort of well you know it's it's a matter of personal preference, yeah. Um, you can warm this image, uh, warm the image up in Lightroom. You can cool the image down inside of Raw Therapy, but that's not really what we're here to do. We're just looking at a workflow to integrate Raw Therapy with Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, so what I want to do 
is just make a quick adjustment to this image. And we are in um, a development build for Raw Therapy 5.9 here, which is yet to go on public release. Christ alone knows when it's actually going to be allowed on public release. Uh, sooner rather than later, as far as I'm concerned, I just wish they'd stop developing it and just get it done. Um, because it's a superb piece of kit. It always has been, and it's even better now than it ever has been. But I get the feeling that Mitch is on the public release 5.8. So there's a few things that are different um, for Mitch, um, different for the worse, in my opinion. And so I haven't got 5.8 on my machine, uh, even though this does say it's 5.8, all this garbage after it means it's a development build So for 5.9. So anyway, I'm waffling. All I'm going to do, just for the sake of making an adjustment, is I'm just going to go to Abstract Profile, and this is something that isn't in 5.8, so Mitch, you can't do this. And uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of gamma, and... A little bit to the slope to lighten the image up maybe not quite so much and uh, yeah that'll do as an adjustment for the image okay i um, it's not finished but we're not here to process the image and um, what we need to do in raw therapy is to come over to the preferences file uh, or preferences section by clicking this icon that looks a little bit like a graphic equalizer. And if we are on the general tab, if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll see this external editor. Okay, so if you're in if your external editor isn't Photoshop, if it's GIMP, you click that little radio button there. If it's if you're on a Windows machine, I think I'm right in saying I don't own a Windows machine, so I wouldn't know, but from conversations I've had with other people. Um, most often it works very well if you go to the Adobe Photoshop installation directory radio button and then navigate here to your Photoshop installation directory. But that doesn't work on Mac. Uh, so we have to go to this custom command line. And the custom command line is open space dash b space open quotes com dot adobe dot photoshop close quotes. Okay, and that will make this image open inside of Photoshop when I hit this little button here, which is Edit Current Image in External Editor, the one that looks like an artist's palette with a paintbrush. Stupid, stupid blooming choice for a, a, an icon. It's totally unintuitive, but well, there you go. Um, now, the big difference between... Uh, 5.8 and 5.9, as it will be, or in this current development build, is this output directory. On the public release 5.8 version, um, you don't see this output directory option. You just don't see it. Um, because automatically 5.8 saves the image to the operating system temporary directory, be it on Mac, Windows, Linux, or whatever. And that has got to rank as the stupidest idea anybody has ever had. And myself and one or two others over on the Rural Therapy forums um, put sufficient pressure on the developers who did put up some resistance to this because they're crazy. Um, but they did put up some resistance, but in the end, we got them to give us this option to save as input or save it to the same directory as the input image, which is the way every other processor on the planet works. Um, why they had such resistance to doing this, I do not know, but well, there you go. Anyway, so... By default, Mitchie's version of Raw Therapy, I think, saves to the temporary directory. Uh, more of that in a bit. So, if you're on a development build, or you're on Raw Therapy 5.9 because you're watching this way in the future and 5.9 is already out, um, use this 
same as input image okay so we can click OK on there the other way you can save the image is actually by going to the save icon down here which is a little floppy drive and a down arrow which makes a boatload of sense and if we click there and um, even on raw therapy 5.8 the root directory where the um, originating raw file uh, resides should be at the bottom of this list here so you could elect to save it there okay if you can't see the main image directory where the originating raw file is you can always go to other locations and navigate to it that way but either way you've got to go and find the original um, folder directory where the raw file remains uh, resides okay and then select 16-bit tiff uncompressed and just click okay and bob's your uncle um, the image will be outputted from raw, raw therapy with all your processing on it as a 16-bit tiff and it'll go into your main raw file directory where the originating raw file is um, on 5.8 there will be one other um, specific little problem uh, with that tiff and i'll come to it now um, bear in mind that if i click this icon don't forget it will save it in the same folder as the originating raw file so if I click that and it will do its processing we'll watch the progress bar go up here and then it will open the image inside of Photoshop okay and here's the image inside of Photoshop however if I go to image image size you'll notice the resolution is corrected 300 pixels per inch um, the thing is that if you are on raw therapy 5.8 that will say 72 but if we uncheck resample and change 72 to 300 and then click ok you'll be fine and uh, the image size will not change alrighty so I'm just going to click cancel on there now the other thing is that it will be in raw if you've come from raw therapy 5.8 it will be in a temporary directory that's where it will be saved so we can just go to file and what i recommend is you go save as yeah and because this has come out of a development build it is actually saved in the right place this is the root directory where the actual raw file resides um, but here it will say temp or t depending on what operating system you're on so again what you need to do is to go to navigate uh, one way or the other um, back to your main folder where the raw file resides and then save it there straight away so you've got to do a save change or save location change and you've got to do a resolution change as well if you're coming out of the public release of 5.8 but if you're on a development build be it on a windows machine or a mac um now i'm um, everything in the garden is rosy and the thing is because this image is saved in the default um, or the original um, directory where the raw file resides if i come back to lightroom and this is where we're getting back to um, Mitchy's little problem how do we get an image from raw therapy back to Lightroom it's really really simple because whichever way you've done it you've saved it to the original raw file directory in other words the same folder as the originating raw file all you've got to do is to go right click and go to folder in library and there it is highlighted and if I right click again and then go to synchronize folder and it says oh import two new photos god i wonder what they are so if i just click synchronize 
importing two shots yeah oh, well it's two versions of the same image yeah i obviously must have done it twice and so there we go there is our 16-bit 300 pixel per inch uh, pro photo rgb tiff uh, processed uh, raw file processed in raw therapy and the outputted image is now inside lightroom okie dokie so you can go and put lightroom adjustments on this you could right click open original and go and open it in photoshop and do whatever you needed to do in photoshop and because the image has been saved by raw therapy in the correct location it's a location that lightroom can understand and recognize so therefore any adjustments you do in photoshop when you go and click save the adjustments will show up inside of lightroom but of course because this is on a canon eos r5 um, raw therapy doesn't understand the exif data yet so you'll see the majority of the exif data is missing just click on exif data that is it so right at this minute there is a disconnect with the exif data off um, a lot of cr3 files and you'll be missing your shutter speed and aperture data but there is a really stupid simple low down dirty trick to actually get around that little exif data problem if you want to have um, exif data um, on your r5 images um, that have come out of raw therapy and it's really simple so if i go um, go to folder in library and there it is and so this is the tiff that we've just brought out which don't forget is already over here in photoshop so if i come back to lightroom and i go to the original raw file and i right click and i go edit in edit in photoshop and then come back over to photoshop and there it is okay so now i've got the raw file which does have the exif data on it and if i come back to the tiff and i just put my cursor over there hold down the control key and just drag it and center it on the actual raw file itself okay so now i've got the original tiff over here i've got the raw file in the background really simple we go layer and we go flatten image okay and we just go file and we go save all righty and once it's saved there we go 16 bit per channel pro photo rgb come back to lightroom and whoop de doo what are we on now here it is edit tiff and this is the tiff as processed in raw therapy opened in photoshop dropped over the top of the raw file flattened saved out and it's got all our exif data back so there you go so i hope that's answered mitch's problem and i hope it's proved interesting i hope it's proved useful to everybody else who's uh, viewing it and so until the next time guys stay safe stay well keep taking the pictures and uh, i'll speak to you soon too root